let's use our auto labeling. I'm going to come up here and select auto labeling and you can see that there aren't any but it does give you a little uh, preamble across the top and it says it's going to automatically apply sensitivity labels to email messages or OneDrive and to SharePoint that contain sensitive information and you have to run the policies in simulation mode so you can view them. So let's go ahead and we're going to create an auto labeling policy. And of course there are some templates. But let's filter these just by Canada. And then everything here should be based on Canadian. So I have financial and I've got a couple of templates in here. I've got medical and Health Information Act, Canada Personal Information Act, and Personal informa Health Information. There's also Privacy. And as I select, notice different templates. We're going to come back to this one. And notice this one has a passport number, a social insurance number, a health service number, and so on and so forth. So this is the one we're going to pick. Privacy based on the PIPA. And let's say next. And the description. Identify Canadian person's private information. And we're going to say next. And where will we apply these labels? Now, if you don't have Exchange, there's no use turning that on. But we could apply it with SharePoint Sites and then we choose the sites. Now I have actually made a site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab here and we're going to go into that site. Alright, so it's over here. It's our Human Resources site and take note of the URL. It just ends with HR. And let's go back to our Security and Compliance and let's choose our sites. And I've copied that. No, I didn't. I thought I'd copied that URL. Let's copy that URL. And we'll paste it in there. We're going to add that. So this new label will apply to Human Resources. And I'm going to turn it on for OneDrive accounts, but whose accounts? Well, I'm going to turn this on for Mary Aby. So you have to, of course, know the account. And oh, and uh, oh, two five. And let's add that. All right, I'm going to pause. I went off and I copied her email address to make sure I got it correct. And now that should be absolutely correct. All right, I'm going to pause and I am going to identify why this will not um, function. Now what I actually had to do was get the full URL for that user. And then we're going to say done. So for OneDrive, that will work. Just for me, if I need to add another one, then I have to do the same thing, except up in here, I have to change the name to the user, the second user, that I'm adding this to. And let's just go back in here. Uh, my SharePoint. And let's see if we can add Mary here. And we've added Mary. So there are two accounts, and it does tell me here that this will work with for the one SharePoint site and one OneDrive account. And there's no exclusions. And let's say next. 
Now the policy rules. Now the common rules, if it identifies a passport or a social insurance number or a health number or any sort of personal health. So that would be your health card number. So we're going to leave that and define the new rules. Low volume, high volume content. We could do a brand new rule. Now both of these are already on the low volume rule conditions. Notice it contains and people outside your organization. The high volume, which is again already on, the conditions for that, again same thing, and people outside the organization. Now I could do it for people inside the organization as well with a new rule, but we'll leave those. And what is the label that you want to apply? Now, if we already have created sensitivity labels, notice they come up. And I am actually going to say confidential. And I'm going to add that. And it's turned on. So the very first time I do this, there may be a lot of matching and it will take a performance hit. Um, we don't have a lot in our environment, so we're going to say next. Run the policy in simulation mode. And it's going to do all of these things. New policy name and a description. It's going to label as confidential. It's going to label it as a PIPA here. And this is the information. It's going to apply it to these components. And we're going to create the policy. And the simulation is in progress. Now this sometimes can take a bit of time. If you have a lot of content already in, these things should be done. Oh, and it could not find this account. And that's okay. We can always go back in here and we can remove this. So let's go back and let's choose the accounts. And for Mary, let's just get rid of it. And we're done. And next, and next, next again all the way through and this is simulation and it's going to go and work away. Now the account Mary AB has never actually logged on to the environment and that is potentially part of the issue here. So it's running. Now I am going to pause while it runs and we'll be back. Now it comes up and it says we're running the policy to see if there's anything that matches the conditions right now, right? But take note of this. It might take up to 24 hours. So we're going to say we're done with that. Now, it is doing this simulation. It's going to go through everything and find out if there's anything in there that matches this. Now it could take, as you saw, 24 hours. But maybe we'll have a chance to come back tomorrow and see how it's working.